Thanks for joining me, I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'll demonstrate how to use the Alien Essentials Brush Pack for Corel Painter Essentials. Let's start with the first brush in the Alien Brush Pack, and that is called Alien Cave. I'm going to go ahead and paint into this piece of artwork here on a new layer. The color that I have selected is a darker color because this particular brush and many of these brushes are glow brushes, meaning that they're going to gradually build up to a lighter color. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So I'm going to choose a color that's much darker than the color that I'm going to get. I'll paint over here on the wall and you'll see I get these illuminated cracks. If I lift my pen up and paint again, there's a chance that the pattern might change direction. So I'll lift up and press down a few times here, and you'll see that the cracks don't always go the same direction. Now if you press firmly and hold in one spot, it's going to build up to white. If you press lightly, it's not going to build up quite as fast and you won't get as thick of lines. And as I mentioned earlier, you want to be choosing a darker color so that it doesn't build up to white too fast. If I choose a color that's much brighter, then you'll see that it builds up to white much more quickly and I don't quite get the color that I wanted. So typically a darker, more desaturated color is going to build up more gradually. Now right now this layer of paint that I added is opaque. I can also change the composite method for these glow brushes to screen, and that will help it blend with the background, and sometimes that gives you better effects if you're going for a light. Now I'm not limited to using a glow brush only for lights. I could also use this same brush to create cracks in the floor. I'm going to change the composite method to multiply. I'll choose kind of a dark blue like this. I'll go ahead and paint over here on the floor using light pressure and I can create these cracks on the floor. Since this is on a layer, I can reduce the opacity of that layer. The next brush is called Alien Fog. I'm going to choose a cyan color like this. Again, I'm using a screen layer because of how I want it to blend with the background. And I can paint in this alien fog like this. Let's move on to the next brush and that is called Alien Moss. I used that for the mossy background here. I'm gonna select a dark green color like this. Now if I paint with this brush, I get this nice mossy pattern. I can put some over here on this side as well. I'm gonna select a brighter green and make it a bit more yellow. If I use lighter pressure, I can build it up a little bit more slowly. If I use heavier pressure, it's going to build up quickly. So you probably don't want to press too hard here. You'll also want to make sure that the color you're choosing isn't too bright if you want it to build up more slowly. The next brush is called Alien Skin. You could use this as a skin texture for an alien. You also have a bit more control over the texture by selecting a paper. So I'm going to change the paper to simulated wood grain, make my color a bit brighter. And now when I paint, I'm getting some paper texture. If I wanted some more reptilian skin, I could choose a green. Now I have some reptilian skin texture. You could enhance that effect even further by choosing a paper that has kind of a scale pattern, maybe like fine dots here. I'll choose an even brighter color. And now when I paint, I get kind of a scaled texture. The next brush is called Alien Vein. I'm going to choose kind of a red blood color like this. I'll paint over here on the wall and you'll see I get this kind of biomechanical vein pattern. Again, you can use the normal composite method if you want it to be opaque, or if you want it to look more like light and be transparent, you can choose screen. Let's move on to the next brush and that is called Alien Web. I'm gonna choose kind of a greenish gray color like this. Maybe up here on the ceiling, we want there to be some sort of web hanging down. So I'm just gonna build it up like this. Might choose a lighter, brighter color add some highlights like so. The next brush is fur balls. That's how I created the fur for these little alien creatures here. I'm going to go ahead and set the composite method to default or normal. I'll go ahead and stick with this red color here. And I'm just going to tap and hold in one place and that builds up the little fur ball creature. If we want one to be a different color, we choose a different color and put them in. If you want a really big fur ball creature, you can make a bigger brush. If you want a smaller one, you can create a tiny brush. Now the creature you're going to get is going to be much bigger than your cursor. So if you want a really tiny one, just set your brush as small as you can. And then of course you can add to this. I painted in an eyeball just using some of Corel Painter's default brushes. And then of course to make them look more three-dimensional, I added some shading and color to them so they don't look so flat. Moving on to the next brush, we have pores. I'm going to select a darker green color like this. This brush can utilize the paper texture. I'm going to set the paper to simulated wood grain. I'll paint a test stroke here and you can see I get this porous pattern. I could use this to make a rock texture on the wall. 
And if I change the paper to something else like pebble board, then you can see I get a different pattern. The next brush is called slime. I'm gonna choose a green slime color like this. And we can use this to have slime dripping down like this. You can just pull straight down or you can tap to have little blobs of slime suspended in the air. Or you can draw blobs of slime if you want them to be bigger. This is a glow brush, so it's gonna build up to a lighter color as you paint over it. You can make darker slime that builds up more slowly. It has a lot of three-dimensional form to it. You could choose a different color of slime and put in some of this. And of course, if you don't want it to be opaque, then you can change the composite method to screen and now it's more translucent. Now you can also control the papers, so I could choose a different paper here, let's say small dots, and I'll get a different pattern in my slime. You can see there's that dotted pattern, or I could choose something like simulated wood grain, and I get a more chunky rocky texture. And the last brush in the Alien Brush Pack is called Viral. I'm gonna choose kind of a yellowish green color like this, and I can paint on the ground and I get these little clumps of viruses or bacteria or something. Or it could just be some sort of alien growth. And put that here on the background as well. You get these little multicolored blobs that are all clumped together. So there you go. That's a demonstration of how to use the Alien Essentials brush pack for Corel Painter Essentials. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to click the like button. And make sure to subscribe for more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.